In this video, we're going to talk about Microsoft Edge and its new accessibility features. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible and I make videos on accessibility, technology and encouragement for people who are blind and visually impaired. Today we're going to talk about the Microsoft Edge browser and when it first came out it had uh, quite a few accessibility issues but now it has gotten better and even my husband who is a screen reader user uh, uses it occasionally. There's still always going to be room for improvement but they have included two new main features called Read Aloud and Immersive Reader. The first feature is Read Aloud and yes it reads a page aloud to you whether you you're in the immersive reader mode or if you're just in the regular web browser mode. And the immersive reader works with mostly blogs and articles and it strips away advertisements and other sidebars, your navigation um, links and everything like that. And it just has the main content of that page. And from there you can change the font size and the different color, the background, different text colors. It also has some other tools as well. So let's transition over to my computer and I can show you guys how these two features work. So here I have Microsoft Edge and this is Microsoft Edge Chromium. And I have the Live Accessible page open to one of our blogs. And here, if I wanted it to read aloud for me, I can press Control Shift U. New Android Talkback Update 2020 Multi Finger Gestures. October 20th, 2020 and by Carrie. S. Morales. You can press Control Shift U with again. Re read aloud highlights the word that it's currently reading in yellow and the line that it's reading in blue. And if you press Control Shift U again and it starts again, you can click anywhere on the screen and on any word, any part of the article, um, and it'll start reading from there. But it only works while it's reading. Release of Android Accessibility Suite 8.2 and TalkBack 9. How to enable TalkBack multi-finger gestures. Test updates. In order to proceed with enabling multi... The only thing sometimes, if you click in the middle of a word, it'll start right in the middle, so it won't actually tell you what that word is. It'll only verbalize the letters of where you clicked. If you do want it to read, starting from a specific line, I suggest while it's reading, click slightly to the left of that line and it'll start reading from there. When you have Read Aloud active, it puts a toolbar near the top of your browser and at the top there is a play button. Multi-finger gesture. And there is the previous sentence and next sentence. Previous and next sentences only work when it's playing and unfortunately they don't have a keyboard shortcut for going back and forth, which I really wish they had. I have contacted them and asked for that feature um, and hopefully they will do that in the future. Um, if you go over to the right, you're going to see another button that says voice options. And if you click there, you can change the speed and the voice. So here is probably the default voice that it would be um, if you guys used it. So I'm gonna play it. Gestures, your device must have the following. Android 11. Android Accessibility Suite 8.2 or later. So that will probably be the default voice you have. So you can go to the settings and change that. If you do try this feature out, you'll probably see that I have a lot more voices here um, than what's available because I believe there's only three that's available. So if you want to get more voices right under that, there's a, a link that says learn how to add more voices. So you can click there and I'll walk you through how to add more voices. Another thing you can do is select a word where you want to start and then press control shift U and it'll how start to playing enable talk back multi finger gestures. If you want to exit out of read aloud, you can go to the toolbar and press the X button, or you can also press just the escape button on your keyboard. 
If you're a screen reader user, you can navigate to that toolbar if you press F6. Right now I'm running JAWS. Um, so for me, it's F6. F6. Leaving menu bar. New Android talkback update when F6. Tab bar tab. Keep pressing F6. F6. Favorite bar tool F6. Toolbar. Continue the read aloud button to activate. And right there, um, once it says read aloud toolbar, you just press tab. Voice options button to activate. Press space. Close button to act. Continue the read aloud button to activate. Press and again, bar. The previous paragraph and the next paragraph is not enabled unless the read aloud is currently reading. So if it is reading, you'll be able to um, go next and previous. And you just press tab and shift tab to navigate through the toolbar and press space to activate a button. The other accessibility feature is Immersive Reader and to enable this, you press the F9 button and unfortunately, this only works for blogs and articles and just certain pages where this feature is available. To get out of the Immersive Reader, you just have to press F9 again and sometimes it takes a couple of seconds for the original page to load and when you do have immersive reader on it takes away all the advertisements and excessive um, links and the sidebars and any anything um, that isn't the main content on the page. This is really helpful if you want to focus on what the article or the blog is saying. And it's also great when you are using a screen reader since you don't have to go through all the advertisement and it's easier to find uh, the actual content. The Immersive Reader has its own toolbar at the top um, for the browser right under the address bar. And here you can also do read aloud and you can use the control shift U if you want. And it also has the text preferences. So if you click there, you can make it bigger or smaller and you can change the text spacing. Um, if I do find that if you do turn that on, it's really spaced out. So. I prefer just the regular spacing and then right under that there's different page themes so i my favorite is white on black um, but you can choose any other theme or you can click down here where it says more themes and then you have a lot of other themes and um, colors that you can change this page to. The next button on the toolbar is grammar tools. So this can help you identify nouns and verbs and adjectives and adverbs. I do find that it does its best, um, but it does make mistakes. <laughs> so I wouldn't completely trust the grammar, grammar tools just yet. And the next one is reading preferences. The first one is line focus. So if you turn that on, it'll give you just a few lines to focus on and it will make the other parts of the page that you're not looking at shadowed. So you can only clearly see just a couple lines and you can control this. You can only have one line at a time. Um, or you can have multiple lines like this. The next option there is picture dictionary. So if you turn that on, some of the words in the article, when you put your mouse over it, it'll have a little kind of wand symbol on it. And then you can click on it and it'll give you pictures uh, to help you understand what that word means. And the next one is translating. Here you can change the language of the whole article and they have quite a few languages to choose from and you can choose to translate the entire page. And if you're using JAWS or another screen reader, you can press Alt Shift R to go to the immersive reader tools. Alt Shift R, tool bar, read aloud button to activate, press space bar. From there, you can press tab to go through the different buttons. Text preferences button to activate, press space bar. And you press space to space. Text activate side, left, right, that slider, button. 182% 5. And then you can press tab to go through the different options. Text spacing checkbox not checked, page themes, dark theme, radio button checked, 4 or 5. I do want to mention that the text size option um, is not accessible text with JAWS. Text size left, right, slider, I, 100. <laughs> I've tried everything and unfortunately it does not work. However, if you're using narrator and text you go preferences to dialogue. text preferences, text size. 
slider at one and you go to the text size you can press the left and right arrow 182 percent five 300 100 and increase and decrease the text size so i'm not sure what's wrong with accessibility when it comes to jaws but it does work with narrator I really like both of these features. I actually really do use the read aloud feature even though I can use the Windows magnifier reader because I can navigate away from whatever article I'm listening to and do something else at the same time. If you're not sure what I'm talking about with Windows magnifier or Windows magnifier reader, I will put a link right here and you guys can check it out and down in the description as well. So those are the two new accessibility features and I hope Microsoft continues this streak of wanting to push for accessibility and hopefully they will add more features especially keyboard shortcuts for read aloud maybe even themes in just regular web pages that would be really cool to have so you didn't have to go to immersive reader or because not everything works with immersive reader you can't make it change the colors to that white and black which I personally really like. So that's it for this one. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. And if you guys want to support Live Accessible, make sure to check out our Amazon shop, amazon.com slash shop slash live accessible. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video.